Welcome to the table. If you want the stories and release history behind the most iconic and rare Yu-Gi-Oh cards, hit the subscribe and like buttons below, and welcome to the familia. If not, I'm glad you're here with us, Timmy, while you're here with us, Timmy. Now, typically, I'm a vintage guy when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh, but every now and then, modern cards come out that hit all the right marks for me to get excited. What marks would that be? Well, uh, I prefer them to be the first print of the art and not a 500th reprint of something. I wanted to have a connection to OG Yu-Gi-Oh and those super iconic characters or monsters. Uh, and it has to be actually rare, which nowadays is a pretty big ask. So today we're gonna be unboxing four cards that hit every single box for me. These cards were released in Japan only, at select stores only, for two days only, and could not be bought. Any ideas? I'll give you more details after we unbox them. Now, before we get started, I just wanna real quick let you guys know that I started making and selling custom labels for one touch and top loaders. This will make your life so much easier when it comes to sorting through your cards, displaying them for others, and remembering which cards in what condition when you have duplicates of that card. Uh, even if you aren't using them for Yu-Gi-Oh cars. So please see my eBay links down below in the description if you need anything like that at all. I love these and these have been a uh, big help for me. All right, let's open them up guys. I went ahead and cut the envelopes, uh, but have not checked out the cards or their condition yet. So um, I got these in a big box from Japan, of course. Let's hope. They all look good, and I've got them in different envelopes here, so we'll be doing them one at a time. Put it in a grocery bag or something. Look at that, guys. to hide that and get into that a little bit later but here we have the yammy and slifer token card the token promo beautiful looking card look at that guys just beautiful and here we have it let's move on to the next package all right next up like we got some freebie cards here. Always appreciated. And there we have the big boy. So finish looking at those freebies, some commons, very nice. But this is what everyone's here to see. The Kaiba Obelisk Ultra Token. Look at that, guys. Wow. All right, next up. Looks like we might have some Pokemon support cards this time. And for the card you probably want, I have no idea if these are worth anything, by the way. Probably not if they're free. For what everybody's waiting for, look at that, man. Winged Dragon of Raw, Merrick. Beautiful token card, wow. Now guys, I just wanna show this out of its sleeve for a moment so you can see kind of the effects of this card. It has a totally, like almost matte, slightly textured finish across the entire card. And when it comes to the hollow, only the accents of Merrick in the Winged Dragon Raw are actually hollowed. So it's, it's a pretty neat effect that this hollow gives off. It's, it's just something about that matte texture on the card and how it contrasts with the hollow. Just a beautiful look. Last card up here before we get into the details of what this set actually is.
More support cards. Okay, these are a little different. I honestly don't know what these are. Uh, let's pull these out. Some waifu cards, I'm guessing. <laughs> okay. Finally, any guesses to what this one might be? Boom. We've got a Bakura Ultra token. Now, I thought this one, as cool as it is, was a little bit of a miss just because they should have had Zork behind him. I mean, <laughs> come on. How are you not going to put Zork and Bakura on the same card? Especially with how rarely Zork is printed. Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and throw this in a one touch as well. And then I'll tell you all about these cards. Look at how beautiful that is. Just a beautiful thing, man. They really killed it on this. Konami really killed it on these cards. Wow. Now look how epic that is. All right, so what are these and how did you get them? Well, these are tokens, and on December 5th through 6th, 2020, select stores in Japan were given these packs. Let me just show you what these looked like right here. To include with purchases of other Yu-Gi-Oh! items sold to customers. So say you buy a booster box, uh, maybe you'd get one of those packs along with it. Now, this is where the rarity comes in big. Uh, each pack only has two cards in it, and there are 60 cards in the set. Each card comes in two different rarities, rare and ultra rare. So 30 base cards plus 60 in total when you include the rarity variants. So what are the pull rates on a uh, ultra Yugi Slifer card? Well, I couldn't find any official numbers, but I've seen someone open 15 packs and only receive two ultra cards. So fairly hard to pull with 30 ultras. A one in 30 chance of that ultra being a Yugi, that works out to about one in 240 packs would have this card in it. Of course, there are a lot of other uh, good ultras you might wanna pull like some of these seen here, but if you were just hunting one, those would be about your chances from what I can tell. So crazy rare considering they didn't even make many of these packs, uh, you know, when you compare them like a booster run or something like that. By the way, if you want to buy one of those packs, hit me up on Instagram at Yu-Gi-Oh! Dawn. Now, these are mostly collector pieces, but tokens, uh, what are they? You know, what, what would you maybe use them for for those that don't know? Tokens are a type of card that are used as representation monster cards, typically summoned uh, through the use of a card effect like the iconic scapegoat. Uh, they are not included in the deck, extra deck, or side deck, and each token's stats and effects vary depending on the card used to summon them. Token monsters are always normal monsters, cannot be flipped face down, and they disappear whenever they leave the field for any reason. All right, well, everybody, I hope you learned something here today, and I better see you at the table next time. Ciao.